So this is Lumen Experiment 2.0 Rapid Fat Loss. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I walked 25 kilometers a day, which is roughly about six hours of just slowish, easy, casual walking, nothing too crazy. I also did the steps while eating low calories, averaged out at about 1,200 per day over the four days. I also recorded everything on my Lumen uh, during this process and continuing using it all the time. I'm a really big fan of the Lumen. Also took a pack with me and the MyZone heart rate monitor was worn uh, throughout all the walks. Hi guys, day one taken. I am just over 21k, left at 10, it's about half three. Um, it's murky, it's overcast today, it's not the greatest day, it's actually quite nice to walk in. Um, it's not too cold, yesterday was like 31 degrees, um, it's way cooler than that, so it's quite nice to walk in. Um, so my check in, feet are good, um, legs are good, I'll be glad to be done. Um, yeah, that's all really, um, good first day. Uh, day two, just under 4k in, just a quick recap, just check out this gorgeous weather, gorgeous scenery, um, easy to walk in this. I um, had to flip out my shoes, which is an important consideration, have your, have shoes that you've tested. My shoes kind of got a little bit damaged yesterday and yesterday's walk and we're soaking wet, so I've tried different shoes but they're actually cutting into the back of my legs, so I do have a spare set of skinners with me which are kind of like sock shoes that I might swap into um but we'll see so this is day four you might be wondering what happened to day three it did happen I just put it up into mini walks but I just didn't take a little video uh, today the weather is shite but it's the last day halfway through so this here is my zone effort points. So on Tuesday, the 2nd of June, 159 points. On the 3rd, 251. On the 4th, 400, sorry, 142. And on the final day, 59. And what's kind of happened there is that my heart rate got more efficient. So when I was walking, my heart rate wasn't going as high. And I wasn't getting as many my zone points. Um, not the my zone points are the be all and end all. It just shows that my efficiency got better. I also became lighter, and by becoming lighter, I'm not moving as much mass through space. And then I quickly show you this. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, my calories were a lot higher, kind of averaging around just a little over two thousand calories for the days I was walking. That's active energy on top of my resting metabolic rate, which is around about 2,000. So about 4,000 calories a day is what I was burning. So let's quickly check results, how much fat loss was actually achieved. So here we have a spreadsheet, which sometimes can be a bit confusing when you talk about spreadsheets. So I'll kind of break it down for you. The top column there in the white there, which is 227, and then underneath the 6th of June is 222. That's my weight in pounds that column just underneath that is 103.1818 and then next column is 101 that's my weight in kilos so as you can see i lost about two kilos or just a little over two kilos my neck stayed the same but underneath there where you can see waist my waist was a hundred to start with and then dropped to 95 so it's a five centimeter loss to my waist the next bracket after that in the yellow there is body fat. So I went from 25, and this is the US Navy body fat method. So it's just a method of determining your body fat or an estimation of your body fat. All we're looking for is a result here. So body fat was 25.2, I went down to 21.8. That's a huge reduction, pretty amazing. Then the next one there is lean mass. So I went from 77 uh, kilos of lean mass to up to 79 kilos of lean mass um which is a bit weird and unusual and then underneath it has my fat mass so i was i had 26 kilos of fat mass and i dropped down to 22 and then i've just done a little sums at the bottom there that 3.9 is according to this how many kilos of fat i actually lost and that 
on the very bottom line there that 1.840 whatever is basically 1.8 kilos of lean mass added onto my body so other improvements I saw was my resting heart rate. I managed to wake up with a resting heart rate of 42 one day when normally I'm about 45 to 50. So that's a huge decrease in resting heart rate. So you might be wondering when Lumen's going to come into this. So Lumen gives you carb recommendations. So for this day, this is the first day of doing this protocol. L Lumen recommends that I do seven servings of carbs, but I had three because I was just doing my own diet plan. And as you can see, my breaths there are all two, three, a one in there post the walk um, that was halfway through the walk and then twos and threes. So all, sorry, all twos. So all nice and low. Okay, this is Wednesday, which was day two of the walk. Woke up at a three. Pre-walk was at a three. Post-walk, um, I was a, a one. And then nighttime, I was back at a three. So Lumen was giving me higher results than I thought it would have had. But this can be for all kinds of reason of glycogen because so much walking, there'll be glycogen leaking out of my muscles and flowing into my bloodstream. So here we have the Thursday. Did a few more measurements there. Also, because I broke the walks up on Thursday into mini walks. So twos, ones, threes, again, all low and all kind of predictable as what I thought I would have got. Okay, this was Friday. I was kind of sore, hanging, um, not having the greatest walks. And then some of these measurements are like breath checking was a two. And then that last one there, post 60 minute walk was a three, which was a bit higher than I was kind of expecting but again like I was saying glycogen leaking into the muscles and just you're burning off because you're doing so much activity. So here's where I think Lumen got really interesting so that week there where you can see June 1st to 7th was a week I did the walk and measurements are twos and threes and then this is the current week that I'm on just now I'm getting threes and fours I'm craving I'm eating a little bit too much carbohydrates. Another thing that can happen is you can lower all your glycogen stores completely. And then when you re eat carbohydrates, you can carb load. This is what people do before marathons. They'll, if they do it properly, they'll go low carbohydrate. And then just before the marathon, they'll eat more carbohydrates. That way they can store more carbohydrates in their muscles in the form of glycogen than they normally would uh, just at normal levels. It's a sort of trick. Um, endurance athletes use. So this could be a reason this week while I'm breathing out more carbohydrates is that I've overloaded my body with carbohydrates and now it's kind of dissipating out and it's kind of evening out now towards the end of the week. Um, but it was really interesting to notice um, things like how my hunger and cravings and being able to actually follow Lumen's recommendations this week it's actually been quite hard because it's wanting me to go low carb and all I want to do is eat carbs even though I'm breathing out carbs and that's but become weight stable after the rapid fat loss event um feel kind of a little bit tired uh, but also a little bit energetic so flux and energy kind of up and down not as stable as normally would um really interesting experiment to see be really interesting to see what happens next week um, so that's the video. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments and um, hit like and subscribe. If you find this interesting and fascinating, I will be doing a follow up to this. And also I made a couple of big mistakes in this protocol. So straight after the walk, I should have done what's uh, known as a refeed day where I eat a bunch of carbohydrates after to refill my glycogen stores quickly and kind of switch off these hunger signals and hormones. 
And also this other mistake I made kind of following after that is I seemed to drop my protein really low because I just wasn't hungry for protein. So I was kind of filling up those calories with carbohydrates, which is never a good idea to do. So if I was to redo this experiment again, I would have a way more aggressive refeed day, maybe two in a row after the initial phase. Uh, keep my fats low, carbohydrates high, protein moderate, and then I would stabilize my protein for the rest of the week, uh, which I've kind of done now is kind of up my protein and that's balancing out my hunger really well. Um, thanks for watching.